officially over. Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the final episodes of Strike Back. I've already talked about the first three episodes of this final season, and I will be talking about everything that happened after that. As you can tell, this is a little bit different background that I usually have. I am currently in uh, Paris, France, in case you didn't know. So that's why it's all different, but I still wanted to do this video because there's so much to talk about. Obviously, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the final episodes of Strike Back, because I'm going to be talking about it right now. There are quite a few things that I wanted to talk about, so I thought that I would just kind of share my favorite moments in order of them happening in the show. Starting with Richmond dying. Damn you, Strike Back. I predicted this in my first video. And then before I knew it, the next episode that I watch, boom, she dies. I was like, really? Really, Strike Back? You couldn't wait until episode five, episode eight? You had to kill her in episode four? So yeah, not happy about it. And the whole ride in the car was so heartbreaking and <sighs> schmidt. I love that Stonebridge stayed with Scott when he turned himself in in North Korea. Even though he didn't have to, but you're like, oh, he stayed with him. That's like best romance. Speaking of North Korea, the escape from North Korea was awesome. Definitely, definitely strike back style. I always know that they're gonna somehow get out of situations. I just can never figure out how. So yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I enjoyed Martinez's last talk with Stonebridge and them having one last drink before she left and, you know, her asking him why he never tried anything with her and I think it kind of reveals a little bit about Stonebridge and where he's at right now and not really wanting to make that kind of connection with someone. Understandably so. I think that was a nice moment. Scott and Stonebridge in a tux. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I love the trick they played on Quan when they make him think they're fighting to give him a chance to escape so they can follow him. For a second there, I was like, really? Are they, are they really fighting? And then I thought, wait a minute. Of course they wouldn't be fighting like this. The bank heist when they pretend to be tourists and ask the guard something and then just punch him out. And I was like, this is so cool. When they get to the guy in the hotel and he's like, no one was shooting until you got here. And Stonebridge is like, yeah, that happens a lot. It really does, doesn't it? And Scott trying to get him to jump out of the window and being like, it's like Donkey Kong. And the guy's like, Donkey Kong, how old are you? Favorite line. And one of my favorite exchanges was when Scott calls his friend to help him disarm the bomb. And the friend tells him to cut the red. And then Damien is like, no, 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 no. He's usually really bad under pressure. It's blue. And then Damien is like, it was blue. And the friend is like, I said blue. You said red. Fuck you. I love that part so much. I'm going to miss this. And then on the sadder part of things, Scott asking Linda about Richmond's last words and her telling him that she was like, he's going to find you and kill you pretty much. He sorted it. I mean, he did find her. He didn't kill her, but speaking of, they totally executed Lena. And they shot Log. They didn't just shot Log. They killed him, which also was a prediction that I had that maybe they were going to kill Log. Because, I mean, they've killed every other boss that they had. So if we're going to learn anything from Strike Back, is don't be Scott or Stonebridge's boss because you're going to die. And they land in Switzerland. What up? In case you don't know, I'm originally from Switzerland. So, you know. I was like, yeah, of course you do land in Switzerland because it's awesome. The moment with Stonebridge talking about his wife and the life he could have had was very touching. And I feel like it was a good moment to have that towards the end of the show. Also, I'm not sure what, was his name Faber? Faber? I think of him as Gannicus, you know, from Spartacus. So I'll just call him Gannicus because I'm not sure what his real name in the show is. I'm not sure what he thought was going to happen when he went to talk to them and pretty much told them, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to kill you. Did he think they were going to just let him walk out? I do love the fact that Stonebridge was like, fuck it, I'm going to kill you. Which leads us to the end of the show with Scott faking his own death pretty much and then Stonebridge going to see that guy just to kind of 
prove to him that he's dead and then fucking with his mind by like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. That's Stonebridge for you. And I just love, love, love the fact that, first of all, Scott is going on a road trip with his son, but that just as they say goodbye to each other, and then Stonebridge kind of goes on his way and he's like, where am I gonna go? Come on. I'm just gonna tag along with them. And he kind of goes back and I was like, oh, they just, they just have to be together forever. <laughs> I thought it was a good moment. Usually, you know, at the end of shows, you always have kind of people parting. And I felt like, you know, they're both gonna just kind of figure out their lives. Why not gonna stick together and figure it out together? And just, they tend to get along and they've been through things together where they understand each other, you know? Perfect ending. I mean, the only thing I can criticize is that we won't have more because that was an awesome final season. <sighs> I'm gonna miss the show so much. I'm at least glad that both uh, Sullivan Stapleton and Philip Winchester have shows currently on network TV so I can still feel like I still kind of see the Strike Back people and something, so yeah. That's pretty much all I had to say about Strike Back. But of course, I would love to hear from you and what you thought of this final season. Were you crushed when Richmond died the way I was? Did you enjoy that final ride along to into the sunset, sort of? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would subscribe because we have uh, TV related videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we're reviewing Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. I wanted to also thank you guys so much for watching all my Strike Back reviews um, this season and then all the previous season. It's been fun to be able to talk about the show with people that enjoy it as well. So thank you. I hope we can find another show to get excited together.